Hello everyone, it's Shinny. Well, uh, well, I'm not sure how to call myself because first of all, this character's name is like Happy, but you all know me on my videos as Shinny, so I'm a little bit confused. I, I have an identity crisis, so <laughs> it's part of the process, I guess. But as I mentioned on the video where I was creating this avatar, I cannot truly stream because of PC restrictions, but I figured out I could actually pre-record something and then add it to a corner and add into the uncanny valley of the VTuber community. Yay! So for this little test, I'm gonna share with you today this little little story like it is very small. It is so small that I was like, um, it is so little. It's not even worth making a video about. I'm gonna share you the story of how somebody chased me down on a watermelon field with a machete. So at that time I was, uh, I don't know, uh, eight, nine years old, 10 maximum. For spring break, I went into my cousin's house, but my uncle was still working on that watermelon field. And he being a macho man that didn't really wanted to take care of us, he took us to the watermelon field. Me, my little cousin, and my big cousin. So I was in the middle, age-wise. So he just took us there, placed us near the canal and said, okay, if you want to take a swim, take a swim, but be careful because if you are going to drown, I'm not going to rescue you. So um, be careful. And he went away. So the three of us went like, um, did you guys want to take a swim into this canal? Which we don't even know if it's clean water, but it doesn't smell bad. So we're going to assume uh, it is river water or something. So my big cousin took the leap and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's clean water. So we all took a dive. So we were just swimming there in the canal. It was not really that deep, but still my uncle was not going to rescue us if we happened to drown, but okay. I was still swimming anyway. I was young and not afraid to die. Now I'm scared of a shitty tiny virus, but okay, everyone is. I, I think I'm justified, okay? Am I? Okay, L let's keep going. So after we got bored, my youngest cousin starts saying that at the very back of the watermelon field, there was a house. And she asked if we wanted to go for a walk around that house and then come back you know, do something different. And her brother, my oldest cousin and I, well, we said yes, we didn't have anything to do besides eating watermelons and collect ladybugs. I don't know why, but ladybugs do hang out a lot in uh, sunflowers and watermelon leaves. I don't know why, I just know it. So we start walking throughout the field. We were watching, you know, my uncle was there harvesting the watermelons. So we go all the way to the house and then, and then, the sequence of bad choices began. So we noticed the door was open and a stupid pre-teenagers, what do you think we did? Go back or get inside? Of course, we got inside. So we went into the house and the house looked like it was robbed, like everything was out of place. Somebody was clearly there before and stole stuff or at least was looking for money. I don't know. Everything was a mess. And that's when my little brain began to function and said, okay, I think we shouldn't be here. We, we should not be here. So I was like, um, can we just go away? I'm, I'm having a, I'm having a very bad feeling about this. But my youngest cousin was like, um, no, this is so interesting. Look at all this stuff that's on the ground. And she actually picked up one of the photos and starts to read what was on the back. And the more time we spent there, the more my neurons began to work and said, uh, you shouldn't be here, Shani. And I was like, um, can we go now? Like, uh, you already saw a lot of interesting things on the ground. Can we just go away now? And it wasn't until her brother said, yeah, let's get out that my youngest cousin finally said, yeah, let's go. So we get out of the house and there he was. There was this huge fat guy with a huge, huge knife. Well, we call it mache machete, but you know, machete is pretty much a big, big knife. We were like, oh, fuck. And he was like, hold still, you little thugs. 
what do, do you really thought we were going to stay still we just run away we were like oh my god he's gonna kill us so we start to run around the field trying to locate my uncle so we ran back where everyone was working and we just sat there and pretend nothing happened like hey we just came out running out of nowhere but everything is fine you know everything is fine so we sat down with everyone else and began eating watermelons like little angels and this tall fat guy with the machete catch up to us and he began to accuse us we were the ones who got into his house the first time around and i was like no 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 what the fuck is going on and my uncle was like okay i'm responsible for this little shit so what the fuck happened and then the guy with the machete starts to say that days before somebody got into his house and pretty much made a mess stole stuff and shit and because we were there he was claiming we were those people and Shani being stupid I panicked and said no no my cousins took me there I was actively trying to throw my cousins under the bus saying okay they could have been there first but I wasn't there the first time so I don't know and I remember my oldest cousin said Shani shut the fuck up let my dad speak and I was like, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm panicked. I shouldn't have followed you both. Oh my god, why? So at the end of the day, the guy of the machete was saying like, oh, he was going to call the police. He wanted to throw us three in jail and blah, 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 blah. And something I have to be glad about my uncle is that he doesn't give two fucks about anything nor anyone. So the guy with the machete kept ranting and my uncle was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you're totally going to throw minors to jail yeah you can totally do that uh-huh that's legal yeah uh, spoiler no no you cannot throw minors in jail at least in mexico you cannot we were below the age people can be considered teenagers so we couldn't even go to you know a correctional or whatever it's called so at the end of the day uh, my uncle and his co-workers they were like dude they are fucking children, let, let, let them go. And because it was like a 10 versus 1 situation, the guy with the machete pretty much went away. But um, as a girl who barely gets into trouble, at least in that manner, I was so panicked and I was like, oh, I hope my parents don't find out about this. Well, my uncle never told them and I think he never did because, well, my parents didn't say anything about it. But every time I remember that little story, I'm like, oh, yeah, somebody with a machete wanted to throw me in jail. Anyway, um, that was the small story I wanted to tell you just to test this avatar. And well, <laughs> to be honest, I'm still not sure how I'm going to handle this. Am I, am I going to change my name to Lakapi? Like just, oh, hi, it's Lakapi, welcome to my channel. I don't know. But anyway, what do you think about the guy with the machete that wanted to throw me in jail? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.